Hello there, welcome to the channel. Today we will be discussing whether people are or are not assholes. Enjoy. First up, we've got a woman who is apparently favoring one of her sister's kids over her other sister's children. Let's see how this plays out. Am I the a-hole for favoring my niece over my other niece and nephew? My sister and I are currently fighting over this, so I need to know if I did something wrong. Well, it doesn't sound too good the way you worded it, but let's hear her out. I, female 33, have two sisters, Hannah 40 and Sarah 41. Sarah has two kids, 11 year old Gina and 17, uh, 17 year old Alec. Hannah has one daughter, Faye 16, and these are all fake names. That's a very important detail, guys. They're all fake names. Sarah's family is pretty well off. Her kids have an easy life and I'd say they are even somehow spoiled. Hannah, however, is financially struggling. Faye's birthday was three days ago. I was thinking about what I should get her when I remembered she told me a while ago that her laptop is broken. I knew Hannah can't replace it, so I decided to buy a Chromebook for her, but then I remembered how much she always wanted to play games, so I decided it would be nice if someone spoiled her for once and bought a gaming laptop instead. <laughs> well, uh, not gonna lie, that, that sounds pretty spoiled, man, holy. I was lucky to get like wool socks and mittens from my aunties and uncles back in the day. Man, a gaming laptop, that's a crazy gift. Wow, you gotta be making some serious cash to be throwing gaming laptops around like that. Like what, that's like a thousand bucks or something? Like how much does a gaming laptop cost? Hang on. At Best Buy Canada, $749.99. It was $1050, it's on sale. Yeah, like a thousand bucks, you're just tossing that around to your niece and nephews? Dang. For her birthday, Sarah called and blew up at me. She said I'm an a-hole because I always favor Faye. She said it's not fair that I gave Faye a gaming laptop but only bought a pair of shoes for Alex's birthday or that I spend a lot more time with Faye, which is because Gina and Alec are spoiled so I enjoy spending time with Faye more. Well, the, the way that you put it at that last part there where you said, uh, which is because Gina and Alec are spoiled, so I enjoy spending time with Faye more. That's kind of not a nice way to put it. Like, you enjoy spending time with them more because they're spoiled. Like, you straight up just like her better than them. That's kind of what that sounds like. Maybe next time you can, like, give the money to the mom to go buy the thing instead so that the uh you know the kids don't see that because <laughs> you know because the kids are gonna see that right obviously they all hang out and they're like oh wow i got like a sweater and i got a pair of shoes or whatever and then this kid's getting a laptop they're the kids are gonna think that like you hate them and you only like that one kid uh that's just my opinion though you should maybe give the money to the mom to buy stuff over the past three days, she has told this to all our extended family and called me a bunch of names on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, like the name calling and all that stuff, that's pretty uncalled for. And that's, uh, she's kind of an a-hole for doing that stuff. But for you, <laughs> just like clearly showing like, oh, here's a laptop for this one kid and here's some sweaters and some socks for you other kids. That's, to me, in my opinion, you're kind of looking like the a-hole there. You should just buy everybody all the same kind of priced gifts, you know? All, all the family members like that. Because, like, they're, you know, they're all, they're obviously going to see and get mad about it. Of course, they think that you like them more. What do you guys think about it? Here's the next one. Am I the a-hole for canceling my Netflix, Netflix, Netflix subscription? Throw away just in case this gets recognized. I will be sure to dispose of it once I'm done. So I, 27 female, pay for a Netflix account, as well as some other streaming things like Disney and my family shares it. However, due to the fact that Netflix is starting to crack down on account sharing and the fact that I don't really use it anymore compared to other streaming services, 
I decided to just cancel it at the end of the month. Okay, I'm with you so far. Yeah, you got to uh, you got to get rid of what you don't use. You got to save your money because uh, things aren't cheap, especially nowadays. When I told my family, they freaked out because they use it all the time and they they have shows that they can't watch anywhere else. I told them that they could pay for it themselves then, but I'm not going to break the Netflix terms of services for their convenience. <laughs> they got mad and said, we are family and family helps each other out. Yeah, family does help each other, but like what you guys are doing is just straight up using like unless unless they're all paying evenly then fine but it sounds like uh, op is the one paying for everything and everybody else is just kind of mooching that's not helping that's enabling i asked them what they do to help me then since i just let them freeload they got even madder and said if i go through with this they might not ever forgive me holy you guys settle down what do you mean you'll never forgive them just for like making you pay for your own Netflix like come on just just do it just get your own if she really doesn't want to pay for it anymore just get your own I just called them crazy and told them they weren't allowed to use any of my other streaming platforms anymore either whether or not they allow account sharing they freaked out even more but then I just hung up now everyone is mad at me for some reason and I'm beginning to think I might have done something wrong did I well, that kind of depends. Have you asked them to all pitch in and help you and then they just refuse to do it and then they're mooching off of you? Or have you not even tried to get them to start helping you pay and you're just going to cut them off? Um, either way, not that much of an a-hole, especially if you already asked them to pay, then definitely not. But if you just kind of waited and blew up and now you're cutting them all off, still no, but eh. Whatever, man, I understand. This next one's a bit of a longer one. Am I the a-hole for not acting like a mom to my son? This already sounds bad for you. Oh, this sounds bad, but let me explain a little. I, 35 female, have a 14-year-old son. I do everything I can for my son and make sure he has everything he needs. Lately, he has been acting out a little at home and school, so I decided to sit him down to try and figure out what was happening. He is my only child and his dad and I are still together. I tried to sit him down and ask why he was acting out. I was concerned if maybe it had something to do with myself or his father, but he wouldn't budge. I asked him if there were any issues going on at school because if there was I would be more than happy to help him. I was scared there would be bullying at his school and I was prepared to transfer him to another school if necessary. Why are you scared he was being bullied? Is he like a nerd or something? Not that there's anything wrong with that. He said there was no bullying and he had no issues. He just felt like 14 years old should act 14 year old should act out a little. <laughs> I told him his behavior was not allowed in my house. <laughs> so he just felt like 14 year old should act out. <laughs> That's a pretty 14 year old thing to do. His behavior consisted of swearing at myself and his father, swearing at his teacher, and much more. Okay, so this is what I wanted to know. I tried so hard to discipline him as much as possible, so here's where the issue started. After a little fussing with my son, he said, My life would be better if I didn't have a mother. I was extremely hurt. I said, Okay, and went on with my day. I prepared dinner for myself and his father not for my son. When my son smelled the food, he came downstairs and asked where he where his was. I responded, I made dinner for myself and your dad. Since life is easier without a mom, there's some heatable food in the freezer. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Uh, I respect it though, man. That's some good strict parenting right there. I think everybody needs to appreciate what they have. My son went absolutely crazy. He stormed to his room and he did not come out until today morning. Until this morning, as we call it. Normally, I would take him to school, but today I did not. He came downstairs expecting his breakfast that I make for him every morning, but there wasn't any. He said, where's my breakfast? I responded, your mother would normally do that for you, but if life is, <laughs> but if life is easier without one, you'll need to prepare your own breakfast. Also, take the bus to and from school. 
After a few swears, he made himself some cereal and took the bus. I suppose my son called his grandmother, my mother-in-law, about this and I received many many calls saying I was a horrible mother, that I'm starving my child and I'm being petty. I thought this was a good way to discipline my child and make him grateful for everything he has. I'm starting to think I messed up, so am I the a-hole? No, OP, I think you're good. I don't care, man. He's not gonna starve to death eating pizza pops for a couple of days. Like, he can handle himself. He's 14. Edit for more info. Later today, when he gets home from school, I plan on sitting him down to have a conversation that what he said really hurt me. I do not plan to bring up the fact that he called my mother-in-law. I have never hit, screamed, or swore at my child. I would never do this. Edit 2. My son had a half day, so I texted him asking if he would like me to pick him up from or the bus. He texted back saying he wanted me to get him, so I did. In the car, he immediately apologized for what he said, and he said that his friends were acting out so he wanted to fit in. His friends got suspended today for something they did, and they wanted my son to join. My son did not, and he said he was sorry for how he was acting. I also apologized for my actions. What a wholesome ending. It kind of sounded like you guys just needed to talk things out. Uh, I'm glad that things worked out for you and you both apologized to each other, because there's nothing worse than having some sort of beef between your parents and a child, right? You all just, you're your family, you gotta get along. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and maybe think about subscribing. And if you didn't, uh, just hit that uh, dislike button. Only I'll know if you did or not anyways. Goodbye.